Welcome to my channel. I owe the viewers on my channel an apology, and I'll explain that in a minute. But first, I have to thank you for coming to my channel, for watching my videos, for sharing them, for liking them, for commenting, and especially for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I can't thank you enough. I really do appreciate it. What I want to talk about is a recent video that I did and I'm going to try to find it so that I can show it to you. Uh, this one. <clears throat> Should Elon Omar be expelled from Congress? I'll put a link to this video in the description along with the links to the documents that I want to show you now. But in that video, uh, <clears throat> the translation of the speech that she gave was that she said she was a Somali first and then a Muslim and she never mentioned the United States. And I took offense to that. And I have to be honest with you. I don't particularly care for the woman to begin with. so. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't do the normal amount of research that I would do on something like this before talking about it. I assumed that the translation that was being displayed on the screen was, was accurate. It turns out that it was not. And so uh, <clears throat> I, I did some more research after a, a viewer pointed out, and I want to give you his name because it's important. Let me see here. Uh, where is it? Here we go. This fella. Uh, I can't read this at all. Brian Worm 666. He pointed out to me that the translation was incorrect. And so I told him I would do some research on it, and he was correct. The translation on the video was not accurate. And it was obviously deliberately done to smear Ilan Omar. And this is. The Minnesota Reformer, which is a leftist uh, publication, and they published a translation of her speech. And she never says anything like what was said in the translation that was in the video that I displayed. But I, I wasn't going to just trust them, so I, I looked for some more, and I found this one from a fellow who's a... Uh, think tank sort of guy and he speaks fluent Somali and he posted a translation of her speech here and this is what he says for those seeking an accurate and verbatim translation of what congressman woman uh, Ilhan said here it is so I'm going to read this to you not the whole thing just the first part we Somalis are people who love each other it is possible that some of us are rough with each other, but when the going gets tough, we are people who, who have each other's backs. We are sisters and brothers supporting each other, people who know they are Somalis and Muslims, coming to each other's aid and adding, aiding their brothers and sisters. And the other day, when we heard that some Somalis, or those who say they are Somalis, entered a memorandum of understanding with Ethiopia, Many people called me and said, Ilhan, you should talk to the U.S. government. What is the U.S. government going to do about this? My response was, the U.S. government will do what we ask it to do. We should have this confidence in ourselves as Somalis. We live in this country. We are taxpayers in this country. This country is one where one of your daughters sits in Congress. While I'm in Congress, no one will take Somalis seas. The United States will not back others to rob us. So do not lose sleep over that, O oh Minnesotans. 
The lady you sent to Congress is on this, and she is as cognizant of this interest as you are. And she says some more. But never in her speech does she ever say, I'm Somali first and Muslim second. That was a lie. I don't know who made that video, but whoever it is, they should be, the video should be taken down. And obviously it won't be, and it'll be continue to be spread as things always are on the internet. The, the lies travel farther than the truth. But my goal in presenting information to my viewers is to give you as much accurate truth as I can. And I failed in this regard. I didn't do enough research. And I apologize for that. You, you deserve better from me. So I hope that you'll forgive me for not doing the research that I should have done. And I hope that you will uh, not allow your opinion of Ilan Omar to be influenced by a false video. Now, there are, I have plenty of reasons why I don't like the woman. I think she's anti-Semitic, which I despise. Uh, a lot of Muslims have a history of that. And she certainly has made public statements that have indicated that she thinks that way. So I have good reason to not like the woman. But having a good reason to not like someone is not a good reason for lying about them. So again, I apologize. I'll put the links to both of those translations so you can compare them. They're not identical, but they're very close. Uh, and knowing what I know about translation, which is just a little bit, uh, I know that it's sometimes difficult to translate from one language, language to another. And sometimes there are different options for the meanings of words and those sorts of things. So it doesn't surprise me that the two translations are not identical, but they are identical in the sense that they convey the, a similar message. So, again, I apologize. I should not have done that. I'm not going to take the other video down because to do that would be to hide what I did. So it will remain, but this one will be linked to it. And you can see what my position is on accuracy and truth. And as for my viewers, I pray that you will live an abundant life, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long life and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.